If you cheat on your wife, sooner or later, you're going to get caught. Let me repeat this just to be clear. If you cheat on your wife, sooner or later, you're going to get caught. Got it? Now, I can hear some of you wise guys thinking, Hey, I've cheated on my wife a couple of times before and I didn't get caught. Well, that's precisely my point. If you've done it before, you'll do it again. And if you do it often enough, sooner or later, you're going to get caught. Period. Hi, I'm Max Lamond, and this is an excerpt from my new book, How to Cheat on Your Wife and Get Away With It, A Humorous Deconstruction of Fidelity. So you might say, what's the point of this book if we're all going to get caught anyway? Well, you might have noticed that the title of this book here is How to Cheat on Your Wife and Get Away With It, not How to Cheat on Your Wife and Not Get Caught. Big difference. Because you see, I know you're going to get caught. I got caught. We all have. Getting caught and yet managed to get away with it. That's the point. And by the way, when I say getting away with it, I mean getting away with it. As in having to face little or no consequences at all. As in getting to keep the wife and kids you've spent many good years with and who you truly love, despite the fact that you might be fooling around. If anything, I submit that a little infidelity on both parts could actually save your marriage, as was the case for me. So if any of you guys got caught cheating and were taken to the cleaners in a messy divorce that lasted for months and traumatized the kids, well, you might have regained your bachelor status, complete with motorcycle, an apartment downtown, and nights out till 3 a.m. at local bars trying to pick up younger women impressed by a little gray hair. But that's not what I call getting away with it. That's what I call having lost it all. Or worse yet, you might be setting yourself up to just repeat the same old mistakes, only with a different girl. Not good. Also, since my wife is convinced that even more women than men will actually buy and read this book, and she's usually bang on, then, ladies, it's time to exercise a little sense of humor. Do not, I repeat, do not send a hitman looking for me because your husband took off and boinked the secretary after having read this book. He was going to do it anyway, except he was going to make a mess of it. Another thing that this book is not about is 101 tricks to avoid getting caught cheating on your wife. If you're careless, not to say stupid enough, to come home reeking of Chanel number no. 5 with lipstick all over you and Veronica's phone number scribbled on a matchbook from the airport Hilton, well, maybe your wife deserves to lose you. But I admit, there is a case to be made for discretion if only to protect the household from unwanted side effects stemming from an outside affair, which can quickly turn into quite an aggravation. So here's one thing to remember above all else. In the department of leaving clues behind that'll eventually get you caught, you are your own worst enemy. Yep, you. More about that in the next video. Meanwhile, the book is available in Kindle format for $4.99 at the link below. Till the next time, this is Max Lamond signing off.